Hi everyone, and welcome to another Doctor Who toy review by Mean Rex Shorts. Today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Spin and Fly TARDIS, which has been made by Character Options for the upcoming range of 3.75 inch action figures from the new series. I got this particular TARDIS from Collectomania very recently for £12.99. This is quite similar to some of the flight control TARDIS toys that we've seen in recent years. It does feature lights and sounds and we'll be taking a look at those later on in the video. But first of all, we're just going to take a quick look at the packaging it came in. The packaging for the Spin and Fly TARDIS is quite similar to that of the Series 5 TARDIS that we saw back in 2010. We can see the TARDIS in a clear plastic bubble surrounded by lots of information about the product itself and we can see the Doctor Who logo at the bottom along with the name of the item. On the sides we can see some pictures of the TARDIS itself and some more information about what it does. On the back we can see a bit more of the same thing and the usual product company information at the bottom. And the packaging also comes with this nice helpful little instruction manual about what it does and how to sort out some of the problems that you may have with it. Okay, so here we have the Spin and Fly TARDIS standing next to one of the old 5 inch scale 11th Doctor era TARDIS toys one of the 5 inch scale Alamoth Doctor action figures and one of Hasbro's Amazing Spider-Man movie action figures. We can see that the Spin and Fly TARDIS is quite a bit shorter than the 5 inch scale TARDIS toy and we can see that it's not much taller than the Alamoth Doctor figure either which has been made for the 5 inch scale but we can see that it goes very nicely with 3.75 inch scale action figures like this Spider-Man figure and obviously it will fit in very nicely with the upcoming 3.75 inch action figures from the new series of Doctor Who. Like the flight control TARDIS toys we've seen in recent years, the Spin and Fly TARDIS does not come with any accessories, but it does come with this little flight cradle, which I guess you could count as an accessory if you want, and that clips onto this white part at the bottom here, and it helps you to spin the TARDIS around like so. It pretty much replaces the spindle that we had on the old flight control TARDIS toys, and I have to say I think it's a very nice feature, and I'm glad the character options decided to include it with this particular TARDIS. This particular TARDIS does also come with lights and sounds which can be activated by this switch at the bottom here. This one does need three AAA batteries by the way but they do not come with it so if you are planning on getting this anytime soon make sure you do head out and get some if you haven't got any at your home already. Okay, time to take a listen to the sound effects. Right now you can hear the takeoff noise. It's a very loud but very beautiful noise. And in order to hear that noise, you don't need to wave it around or anything. You will hear it as soon as you switch it on. And then if we place it on the ground, we will be able to hear the landing sound effect. Another loud but very nice noise. As you can see, the light fading out while both sound effects are playing also. And those are the only two sound effects that you get with this particular TARDIS toy. To be honest, I would have liked this more if it came with a few others as well, like the nice zooming noise that the flight control TARDIS used to make if you moved it um, to one side very quickly or if you moved it up into the air very quickly. But the two sound effects you get are very nice. They make it a lot of fun and they're also very useful for those of you that do scene recreations and figure adventures as well. This particular TARDIS does also come with spring-loaded doors which when opened reveal the new interior of the Alamoth Doctor's TARDIS and also a light grey floor in the bottom of the doorway. Not much I can say about the picture used but I think it's really nice. Obviously it helps to show off a lot of the little features on the console and other parts of the TARDIS which we can see not only in the foreground but also in the background like the little lights behind the big column in the console and also the Gallifreyan writing towards the top. I think it would have been nice if this TARDIS toy did come with an interior light as well. Um, I know that's something a lot of other people would have liked to have seen with this. To be honest I'm quite happy with it not having one because I don't think the new TARDIS interior does have any lights around the doorway in the show and the new 11th Doctor's TARDIS interior is quite dark. Um, so I don't think it really matters that it doesn't have one, but I know that if there wasn't an interior light with this, a lot of other people out there would have been um, quite happy with that. So that would have been a nice feature for this toy as well, but as I said before, I'm not really all that bothered about it not having one. The rest of the TARDIS, or this particular TARDIS, is pretty much the same 
as any other 11th Doctor era TARDIS toy. On the front doors, we can see the St. John's Ambulance logo, a silver keyhole, a silver door handle, a police telephone pull to open box, which doesn't open up for this particular TARDIS toy, but seeing as the 11th Doctor hasn't used a telephone in that box in Series 7, I don't think that's a problem. And above the windows, we can see a police public call box sign. As you can see, the windows are black also, and they've got white framing. Um, to be honest, I would have liked them more if they were white, um, because then they would have been a bit more accurate. They look great as they are in black with the white framing, but they would have been more accurate to the ones in the show if they were white. Also on this TARDIS, you've got some lovely wooden texturing, which you can not only see, but also feel as well. I'd say the wooden texturing is actually more prominent on this particular TARDIS than any other new series TARDIS toy we've seen so far. You might think that because it's a lot smaller than the others, there wouldn't be so much of it, but I'm sure there's actually a lot more on this one. Um, and it just looks brilliant. You can see it on all sides, as usual. Um, you can't see it under the bottom, obviously, but it is on the sides and also on the top as well. Here we have the back, which has the speakers and the battery compartment and there's one of the other sides and that's pretty much it obviously you've got the light at the top as well which looks very nice and accurate and um, looks just like the one that we see on top of the 11th Doctor's TARDIS so even though this particular TARDIS toy is much smaller than other ones we've seen from the new series in recent years this has still got some really nice detail and excellent paintwork that make it a really great toy and display piece as well um, I'm really happy with the sculpt of this. I really like all the small bits of detail on it, like the rough textures on the windows, which I forgot to mention earlier, <laughs> the um, wooden texturing all over it, the St. John's Ambulance logo, and all the other little bits you can see around it, which help to make it look very lifelike and accurate as well. And overall, I think the Doctor Who Spin and Fly TARDIS is a really nice addition to my Doctor Who toy collection. This is a TARDIS that I'm really happy with. As I said before, I'm really happy with the detail on this. I really like the sculpt of it as well, and I'm really pleased with the paintwork too. I love the features it comes with as well, like the sounds, the lights, and the spring-loaded doors. And if I was to give this a rating out of 10, I'd say I'd probably give it a 8 out of 10. This is a TARDIS that I'd recommend to any Doctor Who fan out there at the moment and anyone that is currently planning on collecting some of the 3.75 inch action figures. If you're still a bit on the fence about the new ones, I think you should maybe get some of the figures first and then decide whether to get this or not. But I still recommend this to you even if you haven't got them yet. It's a toy that I think has so many qualities that make it not only a very good toy but also a very nice display piece as well as I said before. I just think it could have been a bit better if it came with some more sounds like the zooming noise that the flight control TARDIS used to make and I would have liked the windows a bit more if they were white instead of black but occasionally in series 7 we do see them black with these rough textured ones on the sides being light grey but throughout series 7 they are usually white but other than those two little things, I'm still really happy with this TARDIS and as I said before, I'd recommend it to any Doctor Who fan out there at the moment. That is pretty much it for my review of the Spin and Fly TARDIS. Hope you've all enjoyed watching this review. If you want to share your thoughts on this particular TARDIS, please feel free to do so in the comment section below or maybe in the video response you'd like to make. Not sure what my next video is going to be yet, but it's probably going to be a review of maybe another Doctor Who action figure or maybe a Marvel action figure, maybe even a Man of Steel or Predator action figure. I really don't know. I've got loads of things to review. See you then.